Hey guys, it's Tuesday, July 28th. If you saw my last video, which was the drawing and chatting with Jake Parker, that was filmed the same day as this. I was gonna work that footage into a vlog, but there was just so much that I figured, why not just include all of it? Cause I thought maybe I'd include the interesting parts of conversation, but I think the whole thing was interesting. So yeah. So if you didn't see that, that was posted separately. It is just about 3 p.m. and I just finished up with all this. I spent about an hour trying to get my stuff set up, like the camera set up for this, because I wasn't sure how it would work with Zoom. Once I figured out what I was gonna do, I was having some technical issues with it, but basically what I did was, I have my usual camera set up with OBS, all my cameras connect to my computer, and what I did was you can download this plugin for OBS called Virtual Cam, and it makes it so that your OBS scene is a selectable camera. So when you go to select your camera in Zoom, you select OBS camera, and it just brings up your OBS footage. That way I could have the multi cameras and like the face cam overlaid, all that stuff. So that's an easy way to do it if you want to do something similar. I forgot I left Kiki in the basement, so I have to go down and give her pits. Because immediately, as soon as I started the Zoom call, she was up on my desk and on my sketchbook, meowing constantly and rubbing against everything. After ignoring me all day, the second I start the Zoom call, little Miss Keek needs her 20 minutes of pets. Oh, I should show you guys some stuff I picked up yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a shopping day. <laughs> I've been wanting some solid color shirts, so I finally got some. This is one of them. I got this in three different colors. It's from Uniqlo. I just wanted something that's not super thin t-shirt material. Uniqlo has some nice thick shirts but they're all crew necks, so they have a really high neckline. I like scoop necks. This is a square neck, but like it's close enough to a scoop neck, so I'll take it. <laughs> so yeah, I got three of these, and then I found some other shirts elsewhere, but I was looking for some home decor stuff, because I went into Winners slash Home Sense to look for shirts, and that's when I saw the home stuff, and I was like, oh yeah. But that was kind of a smaller Home Sense. I wanted a full size one, plus I didn't have my gift cards on me, because I had a billion gift cards from way back in my bridal shower. So I got a couple shirts there, and then I came home, got the gift cards, went to a different home sense, which is much bigger, and got some stuff. So as I told you, I wanted plants, right? So I got some stuff. I brought up this wooden thing from the warehouse and put it here. The only thing I don't like about this is it's so close to the tapestry, so it feels so uneven compared to that side, especially because there's this big gap on this side between this tapestry and the plant, but Whatever, it's good enough. <laughs> I still really like how it looks, like the plant up top there, and then I've got this little boat down there. I think it's cute. They only had one really tall plant, and it fanned out too much, so I didn't get it. But I think having that propped up works. This side still looks a little silly. I don't know if it should be propped up more, but at the same time, it, it fans out quite a bit, so it touches this frame. Because initially I had this up on the TV stand, but it's just looked too far from the wall, too close to that. So right now it's propped up on this gold can. <laughs> I haven't taken the tag off yet because I'm like, hmm, let's see how it all works first. Cogsworth got moved up there. He was previously down here. Some of the stuff from the, the mantle was moved over here just to kind of spread things out a little bit because it was getting a little cluttered up there. Just because with the bigger TV there and Christian's computer, there wasn't room for stuff on the TV stand, but now we can put stuff there again. I got these candlesticks and the candles came separately and the candlesticks were gonna go up on the mantle, but then I thought of putting them here and it looks so good. This is kind of off center right now. Anyway, those look so good there. that I'm like, dang it, you know what? They should, they should go there instead. And these are one of those candles where it is wax on the outside, but it's an electric candle and it, it flickers a light against here, so it looks like a flickering flame, but it just looks really realistic because there's real wax around it. The mousy is right there. <laughs> uh, and then these are new, these little fake succulents. Just kind of rearrange some stuff that was already up there. The table has not changed, except I did get some placemats, and they actually look really good under here because they're round. I was debating whether or not to even keep this wood piece up here just because they're easier to access without that. But, you know, I, I don't know, I like this. Originally I thought rectangular, but the round ones just fit so nicely underneath. And these were the only placemats I liked. Then over here on the table we have this. We have the coasters already, but instead of them being in their vertical stand, I took them out and there's three here, three here. And then got this little guy here. Oh, it's probably one of my favorite things I picked up. 
So I'm really happy with how this is looking. The plants look silly being different heights. Like look at this corner compared to that. I'm just gonna not think about it. I'm just not gonna think about it too hard, okay? Just kidding, I'm gonna obsess about it. Anyway, uh, then I got <laughs> this. This is to be a fruit bowl. We don't have any fruit out right now. One, because we don't have much. Two, it's hot and they just kind of rot fast so they're all in the fridge right now. And then this is over there. Let's get away from the front of the house now because it's freaking loud. Oh, I also got a rug in here because our old one was getting so gross. Like we wash it on the regular in the washing machine but it was still nasty. It had seen better days. So this is the new one that I picked up. Ooh, ooh. I also bought this which was going to go on the coffee table and I thought we could put our remotes in it just so it kind of looks a little tidier. But I like the look of the succulent more. Plus, we're not gonna be using that TV that often anyway, so we can just tuck the remotes on the TV stand, like underneath, one on one of those shelves. So now I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's so cute, I'm sure I'll find some use for it. Ooh, and we're right next to the cat shame calendar, so let's do that. So for yesterday, I eat food so fast, I throw it up into my bowl, and then I just keep on eating. Well, they're not wasting it, so that's good. I attack the three pound kitten for funsies. Don't go for this. Okay, it's the next morning. Didn't end up really filming much of anything yesterday, but today I am doing my Wednesday creative stream and I'm working on a, a diamond painting. My ring rash keeps coming back. Yeah, maybe I should just put it on the other hand. This ring finger's fatter though, it gets stuck. <gasps> okay, maybe let's not do that. I'll just take it off after the stream. I just want the bling from the video, you know? We just chug some coffee or something. <laughs> I'm gonna continue working on this bad boy. Got this much done previously. And work on it again today for about four hours. Well, it'll be a bit less because I'm still setting up a little bit. So the stream's been going for what, an hour and 14 minutes? I'm gonna record a little clip from a vlog. My last diamond painting, the last time I diamond painted in the vlog, it actually got a lot of views. Like it's, it's approaching 200,000 views, I think, which is insane for a vlog. <laughs> but I think a lot of people thought I was doing like a whole diamond painting in it or something, like the random people who found it. Cause some people are like, well, she didn't even finish it. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm not gonna finish it all in one day. <laughs> I remember like the vlog I posted after that one, someone was like, I'm here for diamond painting, not for this. And I was like, well, sorry, <laughs> like a, this is not a diamond painting channel. So now I feel like the diamond painting people are all watching me and I'm like, <laughs> wait, let me let me check that. Yeah, oh, right now it has 167,000 views is what it has. That's a lot for a vlog, so. <laughs> Square's better than round. That's just personal preference. I find these circular ones a little harder to organize in the tray. And I kind of, I like the gapless look of the square ones because there's no gaps between the gems on here. But the circular ones are so much easier to grab with the tool, like particularly the, the single sided one because they're round just like the, the applicator is. So like with the squares, I found myself needing to grab more wax all the time, whereas with the circles, the little bit of wax really lasts a long time. because you don't, just don't need as much of it to get it to stick to the applicator when it fits perfectly. And the, the circular ones are also shinier, I found. Like they just kind of glisten a bit more because of their shape, because of the way it's cut. Different people have different preferences. Construction. Ew, I paused the stream music and now I'm like, ew, now I can hear all the construction. It just echoes off the buildings in the back alley, like the buildings across from me. So it sounds like it's coming from that way, but really it's coming from over behind me. Still better than being in the front of the house. The front of the house is so, like, so noisy. Oh, and you know what I discovered the other day? A third construction site, because there was already two. There's two immediately next to each other. I thought it was one construction site initially, but it turns out it's two separate ones, two different buildings, two different companies. 
and then I was driving around the block and I saw this pit in the ground behind a fence and I was like, no! <laughs> like it's far enough away, hopefully I won't hear the construction much. But I was just like, please, we're finally getting some progress on these two. Because they've been doing this construction for over two years now. And I'm just like, please. I'm kind of getting sick of the noise now. I mostly just learned to tune it out, but some days I'm just like, shut up! She has so much patience to do this bit by bit. Well, I just don't have, like, like I guess I could just work on it. And, like, that's all I work on for a solid week or something. Like, I've, I did that with the first one I did. I just sort of blitzed it, but kind of get, like, a sore back. And <laughs> I think it's fun to kind of just pick it up here and there. Because last time I was trying to get it done quick for a video, now I'm just like, you know what? It'll be done when it's done. No pressure. And then I can just work on other things in between. Keep up the variety. Yeah. Anyway. I'm going to put the music back on. So we are about to open a new color. I actually labeled the bottom of my thingies. Because before I just had the labels on the lids. And then when I did the... The at piece diamond painting I ended up swapping two lids at one point and put a bunch of the wrong color down so I had to peel them back up and fix it so we're not gonna let that happen this time I've labeled the bottom of the jars and the top I just moved this one into a jar because it was in a really small container <sighs> excuse me because I'm stealing containers from the at piece one and as I do so I'm moving these into little ziploc bags so let's do Wait, how many? I want to do one and the biohazard symbol. C, ideally, as well. I feel like I could just do all of them, but okay, let's take these. The diamond, diamond painting kits do come with some plastic bags, but I also just kept some of the ones that were from my enamel pins. And the way I did it with the other one is I peel the label off of here carefully. Don't rip it stick it on here but it's kind of losing a bit of its sticky or like peeling up a bit so just to be safe put a bit of scotch tape over it just in case I ever need this color again you know Beep. we got a rogue one in there come here here we go ta-da so there we go and then we can use this for another color we'll actually just empty out all three at once people were saying that you can put these inside the sleeves in a binder like for trading cards and I do have sleeves like that so that's a good way to organize them and be able to see them all is just slip them into card sleeves and I'm like whoa People, these diamond painting people got all the good ideas. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. That's big brain is what it is. They're making 200 IQ moves here. <laughs> this one's actually nice and full. Woo! So there we have it. I don't know why I just like their... It's almost like a bean bag or something. Or you know you fill a balloon with sand. So we need number one. Oh, this is one right here. 127. 127. Look at it. Look at that glitter. Oh. oh, oh. oh sparkle, sparkle. Okay. Ooh. I like to do it while the lid is closed because then I can make the top and bottom face the same way. So like when the when the lid is on these face the same way, you know what I'm saying? Turn <gasps> I thought I saw a dark one in there before. A little freckle.
Okay, it is one o'clock. The stream just ended and this is what I got done. I feel like it's not as much as last time, but I guess I was color switching more in this one. It wasn't just like two to three colors the whole time. Plus I got some new labels made. Woohoo! So there's the progress. And these, these ones are the super sparkly ones right here. This light colored one. Christian made ramen with an egg. So now I want ramen with an egg. He made that earlier while I was still streaming. So now it's my turn to eat. My egg overcooked a little as I was scrambling to stir the final things together with the ramen, but yeah. So lunch was great, very delicious. Now I'm gonna head down to the warehouse. I have a few packages to do up, just things that either arrived damaged. There were a couple where I sent someone the wrong item. So I need to go package that up and I'm gonna head to Chit Chats after to send it off. Look at these empty shelves. The breeze pile got very low, but then we're still all these. <laughs> I'm gonna try to really trim this down for next time. Like I'm gonna be bringing back the new ones that I had, like this, 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 this. Yeah, there are four new ones. Mr. Bun Bun's kind of tried and true like favorite I can bring back maybe. Or I might take give him a break and bring him back another time. I don't know. Like there's other ones like Bakery's a favorite, but I've had it at every single store update, so it might take a break for a while. Cause this is just so many different prints. I kind of want to trim it down. Plus the perk of that is I can order more of each if there are fewer prints. I can only order up to 2,500 Canadian dollars worth of prints each time. And well, does that include the shipping? I'm not sure, but the reason I don't make like multiple smaller orders is because the shipping is hundreds of dollars. It's something like $400 in shipping every time I order prints. <laughs> Cat print just got wild with their shipping prices all, all of a sudden. I feel like they were underpricing before because it was like ridiculously cheap and I'm like, hmm, these are heavy boxes. Like, I feel like they should be charging more. Now they are, but it's like, it's hundreds, hundreds. It obviously wouldn't be 400 if I did smaller batches, but it might be like 300 per batch or something. Like, I don't know. It's part of the reason why I want to find somewhere else to get prints, but I freaking love their prints at the same time, so I'm... <laughs> anyway, if I could find somewhere in Canada, that would be great. I haven't looked around yet at my options, but I eventually, eventually I'll look around. <laughs> but yeah, the new prints always sell out so fast. So maybe instead of having like 300 of a new print, I could do like 600 of a new print, but have fewer other prints. You know what I'm saying? Just get a high quantity of fewer designs. And then there'd be less people disappointed at them selling out so fast because the new prints really did sell ridiculously fast this time. So yeah, <laughs> I need more. <laughs> and also I can only package so many orders. So I can't just order like 600 of every print design. You know, I gotta keep it small. There's only so many orders I can package. <laughs> okay, so for this order, I had a print arrive bent. So sending a replacement. So normally I do the two pieces of chipboard and then it's in a cardboard mailer. I might just do a bit extra just to be sure this time. Most orders will arrive safe the way I do it, but sometimes they don't. Throw in a thick dino. Seal her up. Woohoo! So this next one is also a damaged package one. Sometimes I wonder what the frick happens to these. Like, sometimes these things look like they got run over by a truck. And you know what? That's very possible. I swear, one of the one of the updates I had in the past, you could even see tire marks on the package. I was like, what's going on? You know what? That just happens sometimes. It does make me feel a little better when it's something out of my control like that. Like it's frustrating in a way because it's like, huh, I did everything right, yet something still went wrong. So it's frustrating in that sense. But at the same time, I feel a little bit less guilt because if it's like I sent someone the wrong item or something, then that's directly my fault. <laughs> and then that's when I feel bad. Well, I feel bad either way, but I feel worse when it's my fault. <laughs> 
There were a few new emails that just rolled in today, so I got those added on as well. And here's my stack to take to chit chats. Okay, it's probably the worst place to vlog because the AC is really loud, but it's freaking hot in this car. I'm heading to chit chats a little later than planned because my dad called and we talked on the phone for almost an hour. So, <laughs> that was a good catch up. So I'm definitely not going to the grocery store. I mean, I kind of already decided I wasn't, but that really just seals the deal. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, fast forward a bit, went to Chit Chats, just walked over, dumped the packages, left, and then I got home and I started editing right away, and I got the video fully edited. It didn't take much longer than a typical vlog, because I really just trimmed the beginning and end of it, because the middle, I think, was all fine. It's kind of like a live stream, so really I just needed to cut out some of like our talking at the beginning and end. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that to render. Christian's making some supper right now. He's doing a little experiment. It's like grilled cheese, but also egg in a hole, and there's a bit of sandwich meat inside it as well, and he's making soup. So it sounds super delicious, and I'm very excited. <laughs> and let's do the kitchen calendar. This is like a year-round advent calendar, right? Okay. <laughs> I got trapped in the paper bag handle and ran in terror with it still attached. <gasps> Maybe. Oh, I gotta remove mine. I remember. I, we, we broke the handles on the plastic bags I brought home. But this is still sitting there. <gasps> I gotta put this in the recycling. <laughs> Look at this room. This is a rest sorting zoom zooms. Oh, wait, you were napping on this. I found you napping on this earlier, didn't I? Oh, yes. Oh, good scratches. Yeah, this is all the donation stuff. I really want to bring it next week. So if I could go through our storage room before that and maybe find a few more things to add to the pile, then that'd be great. I should probably put these away right now before they get covered in kitty hair. I decided to keep one more. Christmas tink is staying on me. If I keep this stuff too long, I'm going to be like, you know what? Let's just unpack it all. <laughs> Gotta get rid of it before I keep too much. What the frick does he have on down here? Ooh, wood carving. Oh. This one's really pooping. Yeah. Dang, that looks so good. So like I said before, it's like grilled cheese, there's meat in there, and there's an egg on top, like egg in a hole. Like there's a hole cut in the bread and then the egg cracked into it. Uh, what kind of plate do you want? Full plate or small plate? Oh, small's fine. And then we got the soup. Mush. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I normally this. don't put ketchup on my grilled cheese, but I put it on egg in a hole, so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I guess I'm similar, except mine's going to be tomato soup instead of tomato ketchup. Mine might be both. I'm probably still going to dip some in my soup. And it's the next day. That sandwich thing was so freaking good. I turned to Christian and said, you're gonna have to make this for the rest of your life. <laughs> so yeah, it's Thursday. I had my workout, played some Step Mania. It's been a while, cause I wasn't doing the workouts while I was doing the store packaging stuff. So it's been a while. <laughs> then I came to the computer here and made the thumbnail for the art video that went up and just did some final things with the upload like the end screen thing and I don't know just all the video settings and tags and stuff so that video is now up that's the one that's the hour and a half video of me drawing and chatting with Jake Parker so yeah I thought there was a lot of good conversation in that video so if you haven't seen it I recommend you do it's pretty long but it's something you can throw on while you're working on something so yeah today's kind of an errands day I feel like I've been running a lot of errands this week but it's just because I'm behind on stuff. Although I guess things like I'm going to the grocery store. That's just something you got to do on the regular. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just like that post store unwind. Here's all the things I've been neglecting. Let's do them. One thing I'm doing is I'm going to go switch my cell phone provider because Shaw Mobile just launched today. Christian works for Shaw and they do own Freedom Mobile, which Christian's been with and I haven't been with them. I could have saved a lot of money being with them, especially if I jumped on the plan Christian got in with when he first joined with them. He got like this crazy good 
employee deal that I could have got in on, but now it's like it's no longer available sort of thing. I didn't want to be with them because they, were, they had no cell service in Gravelberg, and I'm like, well, anytime I go to visit my dad or something, I'm absolutely no cell service. But they do have service there now, plus they just have ridiculously good plans for the launch of Shaw Mobile, and I'm like, okay, I'm finally, I'm finally switching over, and I'm gonna be paying less than half of what I have been paying for my phone bill, so I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna have way more data. I'm gonna be able to call and text the US, which will be really nice because for some reason, my plan with Bell has never had that. Even when I just got a new plan, like I just got a new plan a few months ago with Bell and it, like, it still didn't have the US talk and text. And my sister lives down in the US now. So I'm just like, Phew. so I will have that now. I'm very excited. <laughs> So I need to physically go into a store to do this. So I'm planning on going and getting my phone stuff switched over and then get some groceries. And then I also wanna come back and do some dishes. And that's all I really have figured out so far for today. <laughs> I haven't been making plans for any days really other than I had that collab with Jake scheduled in for Tuesday, but that was the only thing. So I feel like I've kind of just been aimlessly wandering. Although now that the live streams are back up and running, that's gonna help. Like the usual live stream schedule, I mean. Like for example, Fridays, I play games. So, you know, tomorrow's plan is set. <laughs> this shirt is one of my new ones. It's exactly what I was looking for. A scoop neck t-shirt, but not that super thin, soft material that every shirt seems to be made out of these days. <laughs> the thin stuff just clings to every little lump and bump and it's just not flattering. So anyway. I was looking for something like this. This is just from Winners. It's the only regular scoop neck t-shirt I was able to find. Everything else has something else about it, like an extra detail or something to it. <laughs> so although I did find stuff, this is the only one that was exactly what I was looking for, but I could only find it in white. So that's all, I only got the one. I can't remember if I showed this purse yet or not. This was another thing I got with my HomeSense gift cards. I like the gold bar on it. Eh, eh. Not much in there right now. <laughs> the brand is Mystique. Kind of like Mystique, but with a Z. Mystique. Mystique. It has a long strap too, but I took it off. So. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, well, I probably should head out. Which mask am I gonna wear? I think this one. Well, I only have a couple choices because the rest are dirty, so. <laughs> this is one of the ones my mom made. <laughs> it's gonna rub off all the concealer I put on my zits. <laughs> all right, let's go. Okay, so I went to Shaw. I was only second in line, but the line was not moving, and then eventually they came out and said that their systems were down, so. They told me to come back in about 45 minutes, so I came to Superstore, get some groceries, and then head back. So far I have some hand soap, body wash Q-tips, and some more of these containers, because ours keep disappearing somehow. These are the same as the ones we already have, so yee! You guys, these sour cherry slices are one of my favorite things in life. They used to have them in bulk bins here, but I haven't seen them in the bulk bins for at least two years. But look, mm. yeah, I'm getting that. God, this is way too busy to be vlogging. Everyone's looking at me. Okay, I'm finally home, but I will have to run back out again for the phone thing, but I haven't eaten yet, so I'm eating some of my recently purchased items. I'm gonna have some Lucky Charms and meat, cheese, and crackers. This looks like a five-year-old's lunch, except larger portions. Breakfast, lunch. <laughs> okay, I just went to Shaw again and just got back. It is almost five o'clock. The line was much longer this time. And it's very hot. I need to get down to the basement now. And I'm back upstairs, because I gotta do these dishes. <laughs> There's um, a lot here, so. Dishes are done. Whew. Are you checking the indoor temperature? Oh. It's 31 in here. Mm -hmm. That's not a nice indoor temperature. A show I've been watching 
for the last couple days that I'm quickly becoming obsessed with is <laughs> Dead to Me. It's on Netflix and I just can't stop watching it. Not like it's the best show ever, but it's just so interesting. Like it's, it keeps me interested and captivated, especially with the twists and stuff. And I'm just like, oh. So we were watching some of it last night and the last episode we watched ended on a cliffhanger and we're like, Ew. so I kinda wanna watch that. I mean, Christian might want to play a game or something first because I feel like it's now almost like our show. I started watching it by myself for the first few episodes and then I was like telling him about it and then we watched, like we were watching the rest together. So I'm still gonna go chill down there. What I need to do is start working on some designs for new pins and stuff like that for the advent calendar. So I'm gonna bring out my notebook of plans what one did I write in? I think it was the Evolution book. I'm going to modify it a little bit though because I want to do wooden charms. Oh yeah, this is plans for a zipper pouch, which I don't think I'm going to do for the advent calendar. Not that I would never do them ever, but it's all it's one of those things that's on Redbubble, so I'm not really that incentivized to make it myself for my store. So initially I had said five enamel pins two washi tape, two acrylic charms, one zipper pouch, two sticker sets, and two star buttons. Oh, I forgot about the star buttons. <laughs> the sticker sets would likely be little little pouches of die cut stickers. So it wouldn't be like one sticker. It'd be like a whole set kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of want to replace the pouch with wooden charms. The pouch would be kind of hard to stuff into the box anyway, so maybe this is for the best. I just saw these really cute pictures of wooden charms on Twitter the other day and I'm like, I'm sold. I'm sold. <laughs> it's pretty much just like a piece of wood and then the image gets screen printed on or I don't know how it gets printed on. Not Maybe not screen printed, but like it's, it's printed on somehow. Whatever printing technique they use, but it's still a full color image. It's just on a wooden backing. So... I would like to do that. I might actually do two of them. So one to replace the zipper pouch and one to replace one of the sticker sets. Just because I feel like the stickers are kind of one of the less interesting items. I know some people really like stickers, but it, it feels like one of the cheaper items in the box, right? I don't know. To me, it's not as exciting, not as substantial. So I'm just going to sketch some ideas for that. I don't really want to show any of that, though. So it's a secret. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got a mesh up here? And I kick you down there. <laughs> well, we're all caught up on Dead to Me. I've got some rough ideas for some stuff for the advent calendar. Anything I clean up will probably be cleaned up on my actual computer so I can use Photoshop and pick Pantone colors and stuff. I don't even know if I'm for sure going to use any of this, but at least the ideas are coming out. I kind of want to have everything roughed out and then finalize it all just because I don't want to, like, I don't want to finalize something and then think of a different idea and end up going with it. I kind of want to see how everything works together. And I guess if there's other things I do like that I don't want to include, I could, you know, have it as some separate merch down the road or something. Anyway, it is bedtime now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I missed one of the Cat Shame Calendar pages. Well, we'll get it next time. <laughs> the idea is that if you have a thousand true fans, that is, that number of fans is what you need to support a career. And the idea is that if you are able to produce a hundred dollars worth of merchandise or tickets to something or an 